the YEM project uh, beneficiary and contributes to the youth employment and entrepreneurship. And since more than 60% of Jordan population are uh, under the age of 30 years, and the numbers of unemployment among them is really high, especially now with COVID-19 pandemic, where the tourism sector for us as our sector was hit the hardest and more people are losing their jobs. We have to strengthen the national system for skills, need, anticipation and assessment and help more youth women as well refugees on the jobs. Now in uh, the Middle East or the Mediterranean area, especially in the Middle East, everybody is working on uh, matchmaking the skills with the needs of uh, the employers and the industries. And the tools that are used by the YAM and, uh, are really important in reflecting that on our real life. As a member of the Youth Committee of the Ibrahim Abdel Al Foundation, we have a lot of youth members that are always trying to ask what is the next step for them, uh, what studies should they go, what sector should they move towards, uh, what is the future uh, related to work. Uh, and uh, this is where the YAM project comes in terms of anticipating skills and what is needed in the future. Um, and in our work in the YAM project, uh, the sector that we chose to start with was the water sector, for it being one of the integral uh, roles, especially related to the SDGs, it's the center of the SDGs. And we thought that this is where the future is. So we addressed the water sector and we were looking at what are the future skills that might may arise in the sector in order to be able to better uh, lead or better target youth, especially those who uh, are willing to go into the sector but are not sure which way to, to go. So regional collaboration is required, especially if we can transfer skills and knowledge between each other and previous experiences and what has worked, what has not worked, uh, and share this knowledge together. I think the importance of the M project uh, lies in its objectives. And if we look at one of the objectives, which is the reinforcing of capacities of countries in the South Mediterranean and the uh, strengthening of, of uh, ties between the, the Mediterranean countries to benefit from each other's experiences is, is very important. The relationship between uh, entrepreneurship and TPET is really great. And I think it will, it will also help uh, improve the image of TPET within society. Uh, I think equipment uh, students with uh, life skills is more important than with the technical skills. And I think TPET in Libya has started, although on a small scale, of introducing life skills back five years ago. Uh, more still needs to be done regarding this. And this is how we see entrepreneurship is really important. It's not just technical skills or maths that students need. It's how they deal with different matters in life that's more important to them. And obviously after the COVID-19 pandemic, those skills are, are more important, are more vital to such people to equip them, to prepare them for life after school or after university. I uh, have been involved in the anticipation uh, skills uh, platform uh, component. We concentrated on that in Palestine and we worked together on this uh, main component of the project here. Yeah. We look to uh, this project as an, a very important project where it will provide us with different tools uh, and uh, it will be i look to this project as well as a platform for sharing experiences with other countries and uh, maybe learning from uh, uh, each another this kind of tools uh, is very important in this aspect in addition to other tools of course like the labor market information system research uh, and studies units and all the relation and inter interaction tools between uh, the supply and uh, uh, the demand side. I think that it's very important when we uh, would like to plan, uh, uh, we need not only uh, to take care on the level of the country, on the national level, but also to keep our eyes and minds open to the regional level and maybe to the international level, where in the globalization era, uh, mainly related to building the skills and competences of people and uh, developing the human resources. It's a very broader uh, uh, borders 
where we need to uh, think and to make cooperation and partnerships uh, with other countries on the regional level as well on the uh, global level. This is very important uh, to ensure successful and to have the main standards between these countries in order to uh, 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 give the opportunity to youth uh, to, be, uh, to have movement between uh, one country and another. Ce projet a vraiment contribué à euh, le dynamisme là du partenariat avec les différents partenaires nationaux producteurs de la, de la formation et les représentants du secteur euh, dans le fait qu'on les a impliqués dans la méthode du scénario là et donc euh, et cette, cette, ce dynamisme là de confiance et euh, d'échange d'informations et de contribution et de l'importance de cet outil là et du projet M c'est-à-dire euh, la promotion aussi bien de l'emploi que de l'enseignement et de la formation Nous avons euh, initié une réflexion de fond euh, qui était déjà inscrite dans la stratégie nationale d'information professionnelle mais grâce effectivement à la contribution de hier, nous avons quand même euh, été plus, euh, et, et notamment grâce à une étude qui a été réalisée euh, euh, par ITF sur l'état des lieux de la formation milieu de travail euh, avec l'appui de l'UNESCO et, et, et qui a délivré un certain nombre de recommandations, euh, nous avons pu euh, effectivement engager une réforme de fond avec, euh, avec les, les partenaires publics et qui a conduit aujourd'hui à euh, une réforme de ce des dispositifs de formation au milieu de travail qui sont l'apprentissage et l'alternance. Cette collaboration est absolument nécessaire pour, à plusieurs titres. D'abord, c'est l'occasion, dans le cadre de ces échanges, de se connaître nous-mêmes par rapport aux autres et, et d'apprendre des autres, et de partager, et de, de donner et de recevoir. C'est-à-dire ce sont des... des le format donc, tel qu'il a été conçu d'un atelier accompagné par des expertises et, et d'échanges d'expériences de, 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 euh, a permis effectivement bah, de donner et de prendre donc dans, un, dans un esprit de partage qui enrichit forcément leur réflexion au niveau de chaque pays. Et, et donc il faudra un cadre euh, un portage politique qui permettrait effectivement de poursuivre ce type euh, euh, ce type d'initiative très, euh, très positive.